Hi everyone, it's Nicole again, and today I wanted to share how I made this really cute mini shaker card. I think it's perfect for fall, and even perfect if you want to have it out at your Thanksgiving dinner table or candy table. So I'm starting out here uh, sharing the products that I'm using. I use the wood veneers, the lawn cocoa trimmings, these walnut lawn fundamental cards. I'm also using this sweater weather stamp set, the small stitch ring rectangle stackables, and a couple different types of sequins that I have here from the Pretty Pink Posh shop. And I'm also going to be using the Versamark um, ink here because I'm going to be doing some embossing. I'm also using this Scotch 3D um, adhesive foam for the shaker card part. And I also bought this um, really big pack of clear vinyl covers. It's just like acetate. Actually, I think it probably the same exact material. It's this huge stack and I'm, this is probably going to last me a really long time. I bought this at Kelly Paper. Now I'm going to start off by taking out one of these note cards here. And I think these are really cute with the little wood grain pattern. And I'm going to take the these stackables here and just try to figure out which size is going to work best because I want the walnut note card to be the base and then I'm going to need a panel as well where I'm going to be designing. So this one fits perfectly actually, it's the second to the largest. So I'm just going to take some of this Nina Desert Storm cardstock and off camera I went ahead and cut that out and just testing it here on the paper. Now I'm going to take this really cute frame and I'm just going to be stamping that here and embossing it in white. Okay, so after I went ahead and inked that up with the Versamark ink, I'm just going to go ahead and place this here on the top portion of the panel. Next, I'm going to be taking some of my white embossing powder and I'm just going to sprinkle some of that over on top. And then I'm going to take my heat tool and set that. And I really like how the white looks on the craft cardstock here. That looks really pretty. Next I'm going to be taking some really sharp scissors and what I want to do is cut out the inside of the frame because that's where the shaker part's going to be. So I'm starting off here by cutting out a majority of the center and I'm going to take the scissors and go underneath the paper now and I'm going to get really close to the border. I found that it was really easy to do that this way. Okay, and that looks great. So next I'm going to be taking a white piece of paper here that I already pre-cut to three and a quarter by two and a quarter inch wide. And I'm just going to place that underneath and using the frame I'm going to take a pencil and draw out the little border. So for the sentiment I'm going to be doing some selective inking here so I wanted to st stack the happy and fall. Just going to take some tape and cover that happy part. Stamp that right underneath like so. And next for a little bit of charm I wanted to add this little squirrel. So I left a good amount of space underneath for that. Just gonna stamp that here. And then I can't stamp the squirrel without this little acorn. <laughs> it's so cute. And then I noticed that there was a little bit of a gap um, on top so I want to take this little swirl image and just stamp that right on top and I think it finishes it off really nicely. Okay and now I'm just going to go ahead and do some Copic coloring.
Now if you notice here, I didn't color all the way to the pencil mark with this um, warm gray marker. And that's because I learned the hard way that once you color over a pencil marking with a Copic marker, you can't erase it. It like seals it in there. So that's just a little tip. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off a piece of this acetate here. And then I'm going to adhere that to the back of the panel. Just using a tape, uh, tape runner. Okay, so for the shaker card part, I'm just going to be using this Scotch 3D foam and I'm going to be placing it around the oval image. Now it would be prob it probably would be easier if you had a little bit of craft foam and you could use the coordinating die to cut out the exact shape that was needed, but I didn't have any craft foam and this was um, all that I had with me so I thought I would just make do with this and it actually worked out pretty well. And you could also double up on the layers here, but I just wanted to have one layer since it was a mini shaker card and um, there was also a little squirrel image on the bottom that I didn't want to get covered with sequins. So um, with the one layer of the 3D foam, they kind of get, um, not, they don't get stuck, but they're just um, like when you shake them and then it's up, the card is upright, they kind of stay up there and I think that looks really cool. But if you would rather have them um, all fall down to the bottom, you could just double up on the 3D foam. So I think that looks really cute. Now I'm just going to go ahead and place that right over top here. And there's the shaker part. It was really quick and easy. Just going to put the remaining part of the 3D foam right here on the bottom so it's all the same size. Now I added the adhesive a little bit too early because I realized after that I wanted to add the cocoa lawn trimmings on the bottom. That's why I left a little gap here. And it was really sticky, so I took a piece of um, slick paper. It's like the backing of a shipping label, so it wasn't, it wouldn't get stuck to it. I would be able to peel it right off. But now I know next time I just, <laughs> I won't add the adhesive first. I'm just gonna create a quick little bow and peel that right off. And then I'm just going to place that panel right over the card here. And that's it. That's the little shaker. And now I'm going to be taking these really cute wood veneers. And I love adding these to cards. I think they look really cute. You could add some here right over the bow. A couple hiding behind the panel. But I just chose to add this little leaf and I think it looked really cute. Just like that, I'm using some glossy accents to adhere that. And here are the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you so much for watching. Bye!